everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Belfast Beanie, which is an easy crochet beanie. It is worked using a super bulky weight yarn, so it's going to work up uh, extra quick and be extra squishy. And it features this beautiful stitch pattern throughout. The hat works great with a pom-pom or without as I'm showing you here. So today for the tutorial, you're going to need a super bulky weight yarn. I have used the Softy Chunky Yarn by uh, Yarn Inspirations, the Burtonette Softy Chunky Yarn. It's a 100% acrylic. And along with it, I have used a 10 millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of the video. Also in the description, you'll find the direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, there's lots of other crochet beanie patterns and crochet stitch tutorials to check out. It is updated weekly. Now our design today, the Belfast beanie, is worked from the brim up and it is sized to fit an adult head. It does have a slight slouch to it. Not too, too slouchy, but it's a little looser there up at the top. I should have also mentioned at the beginning that you're only going to need one ball for this beanie. So about 100, 109 yards of super bulky weight yarn to complete the hat. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain, and your foundation chain is going to be 42 chains. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, you're just going to need a multiple of two stitches for your foundation chain. There's 40, 41, and 42. Once you have your foundation chain worked, being careful not to twist the chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I do like to work and join into the back bumps of my stitches. Uh, it's really up to you though. I just like the way that the finished edge on the other side looks. But if you would rather work into another part of the stitch, you're welcome to. You're then going to chain one. And for round one, simply work a single crochet into the first stitch. And then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You'll have a total of 42 single crochet stitches. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Once again, just quickly make sure that your band is not twisted. For round two, we're going to start working some of the rounds that create the texture that you saw on the beanie. So what we're going to do is chain one. Do not turn your work. You will not turn your work at all in this pattern. And you're going to begin by working a front loop half double crochet. So this is a half double crochet stitch that's working the front loop only. So when you look at the top of your stitch you have a loop that is closest to you and a loop that is in back. This loop that is closest to you is your front loop only. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and insert your hook under that front loop only. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. That's your front loop half double crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to work a back loop half double crochet. So a half double crochet that is worked into the back loop only. You're going to repeat that all the way around front loop, half double crochet into the next stitch, 
and back loop half double crochet into the next all the way around and you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round uh, two, you're going to join with a slip stitch. You'll have ended on a back loop half double crochet, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round three, chain one, you're going to then begin with a back loop half double crochet in the same stitch as joining, followed by a front loop half double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat, back loop half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a front loop half double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round three, you'll have ended off with a front loop half double crochet. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now for the next five rounds, you're going to repeat rounds two and three and then end off on a round two. So your round two began with the front loop half double crochet followed by the back loop. Your round three began with the back loop half double crochet followed by the front loop. So you're going to repeat rounds two and three twice more and then round two once more for a total of five rounds. That will bring you to the end of round eight and you're going to meet me back here before we close the top of our beanie. At the end of round eight, you'll have ended on a repeat of row two. This is what your work from the beginning is going to look like. We're now set to begin our decrease rounds. For round nine, we're going to chain one and work a back loop half double crochet into the same stitch as joining. You're then going to work a front loop half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by a back loop half double crochet into the next. You're then going to repeat front loop half double crochet into the next and back loop half double crochet into the next. So you'll have a total of five stitches. You're then going to work your first decrease stitch. You're going to work a half double crochet two stitches together, working the first part of the stitch in the front loop only, and the second part of the stitch in the back loop only. So yarn over, Insert your hook under the front loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook under the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. You're then going to work a front loop half double crochet followed by a back loop half double crochet. Repeat that front loop half double crochet around the, in the next stitch, followed by a back loop half double crochet in the next. I'm going to work one more front loop half double crochet stitch. So you have a total of five half double crochet stitches. And you're then going to work a half double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch in the back loop only this time, and the second part of the stitch in the front loop. So basically what we're doing is we're continuing our front and back loop alternate, alternating stitches all the way through. So yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop only, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook under the front loop only of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all five loops. You're going to repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So work five half double crochet stitches beginning 
with a half double crochet in the back loop only, followed by front loop, back loop, front loop, one more back loop half double crochet stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch under the front loop only, and the second part of the stitch under the back loop only of the next stitch. Then continue, front loop half double crochet, followed by a back loop half double crochet, front loop half double crochet, and back loop half double crochet, one more front loop half double crochet. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together, working the first part of the stitch in the back loop only, and the second part in the front loop only. Continue all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round nine, you'll have ended with a half double crochet two together. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Round 10, we're going to chain one. Begin by working a front loop half double crochet in that first stitch. I should add at the end of round nine, you're going to have a total of 36 stitches. So for round 10, begin with a front loop half double crochet in the same stitch as joining, followed by a back loop half double crochet in the next stitch, front loop half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a back loop half double crochet in the next. So you've worked four stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch in the front loop only and the second part of the stitch in the back loop only. You're then going to work a front loop half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a back loop half double crochet in the next. You're going to repeat that one more time, front loop half double crochet, followed by a back loop half double crochet. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together, working that first part of the stitch in the front loop only and the second part in the back loop only. So go ahead, repeat that. Work four half double crochet stitches, alternating front loop and back loop only, followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. All the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 10, you're going to have a total of 30 stitches. Join with a slip, slip stitch into your first stitch. For round 11, we're going to chain one, work a back loop half double crochet in the same stitch as joining, followed by a front loop half double crochet and then a back loop half double crochet. You've worked three stitches. You're going to work a half double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch into the front loop and the second part of the stitch into the back loop only. You're then going to work a front loop half double crochet in the next stitch followed by a back loop half double crochet in the next and a front loop half double crochet in the next. You've worked three half double crochet stitches. You're now going to work a half double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch in the back loop only and the second in the front loop only. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. Work three half double crochets beginning with the back loop only followed by the front loop only, 
and then the back loop only. You're then going to work a half double crochet, two stitches together, beginning with the front loop, followed by the back loop. Work three more half double crochets, one in the front loop, one in the back loop, one in the front loop, followed by a half double crochet, two stitches together, beginning with the back loop in the first part, and then the front loop for the next. Repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round 11, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to, for round 12, chain one. You're going to work two half double crochet stitches. So one worked in the front loop only of the same stitches joining. Next, a half double crochet, back loop half double crochet. You're then going to work a half double crochet, two stitches together, working the first part of the stitch in the front loop only and the second part of the stitch in the back loop only. You're then going to front loop, half double crochet in the next stitch, back loop, half double crochet into the next half double crochet, two together, working the first part of the stitch in the front loop only and the second part of the stitch in the back loop only. You're going to repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 12, we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. You'll have a total of 18 stitches. For round 13, we're going to chain one, begin with a half double crochet worked into the back loop only, followed by a half double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch in the front loop only, and the second part of the stitch in the back loop only. You're then going to work a front loop half double crochet followed by a half double crochet two together working the first part in the back loop only and the second part in the front loop only. You're going to repeat that all the way around back loop half double crochet with a half double crochet two together worked in the front loop and then the back loop followed by a front loop half double crochet and then a half double crochet two together beginning with the back loop and then the front loop. Repeat all the way around and I'm just going to continue working When you come all the way around, you'll end with your half double crochet, two together, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to fasten off your work, leaving a long tail. Then taking your yarn needle, thread your yarn needle with the tail, and at this time you may want to turn your hat so that it's inside out. And then taking your long tail, you're simply going to weave that tail in and out through the top of your hat, through the tops of the stitches, just in and out through that top round. I'm inserting my hook or my needle where I would typically insert my crochet hook and working in those spaces. Once you come all the way around, you're then going to just very carefully Pull the top of your hat closed. It should close fairly snug. 
You're then going to secure it just by working a simple knot. You can then go ahead and weave in your tail You'll then want to go and tuck in any other ends that you may have. Turn your hat right side out. Add a pom-pom or a tag if you wish. And that is your Belfast beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, don't forget to su subscribe. Take a look around. There's lots of other free crochet beanie patterns here on my channel. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.